Hello guys, today we're going to be doing a video on Saints Row using the RTX 3080. We're going to be starting it off with 1080p on the low preset. Alright, let's jump into the settings real quick before we go any further. Display 1080p, B sync when I disable. Field of view, we're going to keep it at default. We are using the low preset. I've turned everything to its lowest preset since even on low settings, there's some settings that are, aren't at its lowest value. The picture's cut out here at the bottom, so I can't actually see. But to save it, just use press E. That is really weird, but okay. Up, right. There we go, and capture FPS holes. now. Since it dropped early, and uh, so I shouldn't have to stay up for too long, which is good. Fucking day. And uh, thank you guys for the recent support on all the videos. Anybody it's been really left? great. Here, Channel's growing crazy quick. And if you're new here and you like what you see, then make sure to sub. So far it's running quite well though, not stuttering at all or lagging. The game doesn't look the best in some areas, but in other areas it does look pretty decent still. Okay, chill out. Okay. It's gonna emote randomly in the middle of the battlefield. Pretty sure we got aim assist though, let me try this out. Okay, it's easy friendly. And he fell off. Bravo team is ready to move in. I'm not exactly taking a coffee break here. Surprisingly, we're not getting CP bottom liked. We, we are in the... Scum, oh, let's let's see. Me. Look at that, aim assist. Let's go. Thank you for that. I'm sure it's a setting you can turn off, but I just... We don't got time for that. I'm not going to spend too much time on these areas. On these settings, I mean. Again, since we're running at 3080. If you're playing on 1080p, you want to probably play it at high or ultra settings. Weird time to ask, but do we get hazard pay? You get a performance bonus for outstanding work. It's and the aiming feels so weird with the aim assist. I can't. Trying to understand the pay structure. It's like I'm fighting it. Oh. Game's pretty fun though so far. What? <laughs> okay. Ah. Nice. Hey, okay, let's try at 440p. Yes, since this open area doesn't really matter for us anyway. Man, this game looks so good at 40 p Super, super crystal clear. I don't know if that makes any sense. Looks super sharp though. Alright. FPS is at 170, 160 to 170 right now. Okay, chill, chill, chill. I like the hit detection sound, the, the headshot sound. Sounds quite satisfying. What? <laughs> okay. There no way. Okay, let's get out of this area quickly so we can start testing this game out properly. Because obviously the main, uh, the most intensive part about this game is the free roam. Uh, this controlled scene that's indoors, I guess. Well, not indoors, but this area is super linear, so it's not going to be as intensive as the open world. That's why I'm going to be testing out the low preset here. And then the main presets I'll be testing out in the free roam. We're getting 100 FPS. That's kind of... That's not a good sign already. It's a straight up aimbot. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my god. Whoa. Whoa. Feels it good drags. To make an it grabs on from so far away. I like it. I'm fine with my eyes closed. Let's just stop hiding, man. Let's go. What's going on? Doors is. Door's stroking out. Okay, open the door. What is going on? Perimeter secure. Yeah, that's probably because of my flanking. Uh-huh. Yeah, I now flanked real good from the front door. Out. One of the best flanks. Oh, now I can go through. Nice. Okay, skip. Okay, this area we're getting 60 FPS here. That's kind of a major FPS dip. Area's more open, I guess. When? Hurry. Barely get a beat on these guys. Oh, Wait, GPU's at 60%? CPU's at 4%, so... I kind of want to see, is it using only one core? Alright, let's see what cores it's using. Not really. I mean, all the cores... Yeah, a couple of cores are being heavily used, but the rest are just chilling at 10%. This area is just very unoptimized, I guess. Okay, let's push it up to medium settings. And do we want ray tracing yet? 
I think we'll do it at the end, probably. Okay, these are our settings for medium. 1080p. And we should be in the open world now, so we can actually properly test it out. So at 4K, we were getting 60 FPS in this area at low settings. GPU was sitting at 50%, so there's something going on there. I think it might be a bug. Oh. So far, it's looking pretty great. I mean, it's a 3080, but... Not stuttering or so getting any random lag spikes. I thought you'd want to know. I, I heard back from the museum. Uh, Which is always they, a good sign. With someone else for the junior art curator job. FPS so is really like random though. You can go from like 170 to 130. Anyway, so it heavily depends on the area that you're playing in. The shadows weren't popping in anymore. It's... Hmm. No, it still is. Some, I think the trees... The shadow pops in for the trees. And I think the light poles... They get popping for the shadows, but the rest of the stuff doesn't really get popping. Which is, uh... Hopefully the high priest will fix that. Also, the game looks a bit blurry as well in the distance. Do we have depth of field enabled? Uh, let's take a look. I can't see it here, so maybe advanced settings. Yes, disable depth of field. That looks bad. It helped a little bit, but it's still blurry in the distance. Okay, 1440p medium settings. Car looks way better compared to 1080p. Off the bat, I can say that. Man, the trees don't look that good, I gotta be honest. And medium tinted anyway. Okay, this guy's trolling. I guess he had a green light, but he's still, he's got a... He didn't have the arrow. That's my excuse. Okay, uh... The stuff in the distance just doesn't look good. But... Other, and the, the popping as well with the shadows is... So distracting. So you probably want to increase the shadow uh, quality or the shadow render distance to, but it's like to not make it pop in. But still, even at medium settings, it's popping in right in front of me. It's super blatant. FPS is at 120 now to 140. So it's still really good. Hopefully, we can play this game at ultra settings at uh, 4K. I would hope for, but. Don't think that's gonna happen. But I think 1440p ultra settings is gonna be fine. And obviously 1080p is gonna be good as well. Oh my god, train. Uh, 4K probably would stick to high. I'm right not coming there? home, I'm busy. What? It forced me home? There's no way it did oh, does that to me. <laughs> okay. Oh damn, this guy's got a spoiler on his car. Ah, oh, two door. Lucky, you're lucky. You're lucky, I guess what I'm gonna say. Do you have a four door? Yoink. Okay, what? How do you get in the car? I thought it, was, I thought it would be F. Wait, 65 FPS here? I think after every cutscene it bugs out maybe. Don't worry, Is that I'll what's going that. on? After every cutscene it, it's, it bugs out to 65 FPS? Okay, just get in the car. We don't have all day. Let me test this out real quick. If I go to... 4K... Look at that, 90 FPS. And if I go back to... 1440p... <laughs> okay, the FPS bugs out after every cutscene, that's kind of annoying. So we were getting 65 FPS after every cutscene. Same with 4K, like I said before, how I was capped, uh, how I was sitting at 65% or 65 FPS. There's actually a bug, so you can't go above 65 after every cutscene. There might be a fix for that already, I don't know, the game just came out. They should just patch it though, that's what I would say. Okay, 4K medium settings. Getting 90 FPS, very nice. I'm gonna drive away and not care about the quest right now until they force me to. The game runs really well. So far, which is really nice. I wanna see how this runs on the... on the older... GPUs, and even the Steam Deck. Hopefully we can run this game on the Steam Deck. We should be able to run this game on the Steam Deck. Unless it's, there's some weird like graphical issues where it doesn't run, but it should be fine. Okay, 1080p, push it up to high settings real quick. I'll be testing out ray tracing as well in this preset. High settings, no ray tracing right now, and these are our settings. This popping is so obvious. Okay, not bad on the actual... Okay, never mind, take it back, look at that. What? <laughs> what? What was that guy? That sucks. 
it's very bad. It's got a really bad run of distance in this game. Oh, I forgot to mention as well that I'm allowing the game to shader to load in all the shaders before actually playing the game. I'm not skipping that. I'm letting it load it all up and then whenever it's ready, it boots it up. So I'm not skipping all that. This is the best case scenario, I guess, for the game. Alright, we're getting 120 FPS. Should be sitting at 80% in that area. Obviously, some settings are going to be CPU bound. So as we go up in the presets, it will become more CPU bound as well. As well as GPU bound, I guess. Let's go ahead and slow down real quick, see what we get there. Not much of an increase, to be honest. Man, 440p looks good. I like the 440p look. Looks super sharp. But it also makes all the popping <laughs> way more obvious. Let's go ahead and crash into some objects and see what we get there. Get out of my way, boy. Not too much of an FPS decrease. Still in the 90s, which is really good. So probably at ultra settings, we're gonna get 60 FPS for 1440p, I would imagine. And probably 50 to 40 FPS at 4K, at ultra. Yeah, unless it's not as intensive as I'm imagining it, then in that case, we'll probably be getting 60 FPS at 4K ultra. Okay, 4K, we're getting 70 FPS. So yeah, I think at ultra settings, we're gonna fall below 60 for sure. We're gonna be in the 50s and 40s, I would imagine. Uh, but high settings looks really good. I can't even lie. High settings looks really nice. I Hope they fix the pop-in issue. I've said it like six times at this point, but It does ruin the immersion quite a bit when you see objects appearing in front of you Wow, the lighting looks really good as well. I like the lighting a lot. Okay, I'm gonna go through the Ray tracing option as well really quickly. 1080p again. High settings. We're getting 120 to 130 FPS And let's go ahead and enable it and see what we get there. Ray trace and we're gonna start with the low settings. Did it save it? Okay, it did, nice. And now we're getting 115 FPS to 100 FPS, so. It's a small decrease, not too bad, but also at the same time, I'm not really seeing anything too impressive right now, the low settings. No, it's not affecting the FPS at all. We're sitting at 120 FPS, so... This area is obviously not as intensive as the other one. But, we okay, we're getting dips back into the 110s again. But, not too bad. You can actually just run ray tracing at medium settings. At high settings for ray tracing ambient occlusion. And these settings aren't really affecting us too much at all, actually. So, I don't know. FPS is falling a little bit lower than what it was before, but honestly, that guy is just not using his eyes, I guess. Not too much of a difference. And using Ultra, again, <laughs> no effects to our frame rate in this area. Okay, in that case, I'm gonna just test out the Ultra settings for that pop is so bad. Alright, in that case, I'm gonna go ahead and only test out the ultra settings for ambient occlusion ray tracing for 1440p and 4K. And then we can actually push up to the final preset, which is the ultra preset. Alright, 1440p with ultra ambient occlusion ray tracing. That's a that's a mouthful. We're getting 85 FPS. Alright, 4K. We have actually lost around uh, 17 to 18 FPS, almost 20 FPS, I guess from what we had at native. Oh, I said native, but without ray tracing. So we actually fall below 60 at that point. So we not want to use ray tracing ambient occlusion at 4K high settings. Oops, I gotta show the settings off actually before I do that. All right, this is our ultra preset. And adaptive, what does that mean? Okay, undergrowth, I think. I thought it was like Ultra preset. Hopefully we don't get any pop in. I'm, I'm, I'm begging. I'm begging for no preset. I'm begging for no. Okay, so alt just does a burner. I see, I see, I see. Okay, 1080p ultra settings. Let's get it going. Got a new car. FPS is at 120 to 130. Let's check for pop in real quick. It's still happening. Oh, my grass is actually popping in as well. That's so bad. Wait, look at the grass popping over here. Okay, I didn't see the, the rock there. Yeah, there's quite a bit of popping in this game. Maybe the game ran really poorly without the popping, so they had to like bring it down to make it run better. 
it's not the best way to do it, but I mean. It is getting 100 FPS at ultra settings, so. Can't complain about the FPS, I guess. Okay, 44 p ultra settings. Let's continue with this. Getting 90 FPS, so actually not too much of a difference from the high preset. I mean, there's a slight upgrade in quality, but other than that, I think high looks very good. Medium is also very good as well. Oh my god, that's not a good look. Yeah, yeah that was a near miss, yeah. <laughs> I just crashed into that guy. We should get 60 FPS to 70 FPS here. Yep, getting 60 FPS lock. So we're going to fall into the 50s probably in, the, in those heavier scenes. If we remove 10 FPS from this. Look at that, we're falling into the 50s now. Once we crash into these barricades. Look at these objects in the sidewalk. Still feels fine though, it's not really lagging or... Wow, 48 FPS there, that was quite bad. Kiosk, can you stop shooting your gun in free run, please? We're gonna get caught. Ultra settings, ray tracing, let's go. We are getting 50 FPS. 40 FPS, actually. So we lost about 10 to 20 FPS with enabling ray tracing. Getting 80 FPS. So actually, we lost, what, 10 FPS? Very nice. Runs really good at 440p. 4K you'll have some issues. Okay, can you not do that please? I hope. I wish this game had FSR or DLSS. It doesn't have either, I don't think. I looked at the settings and I didn't see it. Um, would come in handy for those older cards, but it doesn't have it, so what can we do? And then we're running the game at 1080p with ray tracing and we're getting 1 FPS. I said 1 FPS. 100 FPS to 108 FPS. I'm getting really tired. Alright, that's it for the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully, you found it useful. If you did, give it a like and a sub to the channel, we had Richard as well. See you next time.